and welcome to Kanak Infosystems LLP's YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to tell you about ERP Next and how it allows you to manage different units of measurement. It is very often that we buy some item in a different unit of measurement. However, we sell them in a different UOM. Well, it is a hassle to manage both of those. But ERP Next eases up that for you in such a great manner that you can do it with just few clicks. So let me show you how. First, I'll go to my awesome bar and I'll open my item list. Now, I'm going to create a new item. I'll give it a code. This new item is rice. Item group. Now, whether it is a consumable, a raw material, a service or a product, you have to choose. This is a product. The HSN code is the GST code in India. Now, default units of measurement. The default unit of measurement for this I want to keep is kg. I'll go to my purchasing for this item and here I can set up the default purchase unit of measurement. So when I purchase that item, I want it in this unit of measurement that is rack. Now I'll go to the sales and here I can set up the default sales unit of measurement that when I'm selling this product, that is the default uh, unit of measurement. So that is kg. Now I'll go to the inventory and I'll set up the conversion factor between my sales and purchase unit of measurement. So let's say kg, one kg. So in one rack, I have 50 kgs of rice and I'll save all of this. Now I'll create a purchase order. I'll select a supplier here. And I want 10 racks of rice and one rack of rice costs me 500. I'm going to save this and submit this. Now I'll create a purchase receipt for this purchase order. Save and submit. Now if I will go to my item and I will check the inventory and check the stock ledger. Here I have 500 kgs of rice. Now if I want to see it in a different unit of measurement, let's say I want to see it in racks. So, I'll type rack here in the include UOM tab and I can see that I have 10 racks in the quantity. Now, let's say I'm selling this off to somebody. So, I'll create a new sales order. Let's say this is my customer and I have to deliver it by tomorrow. And I have to give 10. Remember that this is 
kgs this quantity would be in kgs because our default sales unit of measurement was kg so let's say i have to deliver 10 kgs of rice to this customer and now i sell it off to 500 rupees a kg and i'll save this submit it and i'll create a delivery note for the same Now, if I go to my item again, and I check the stock leisure, I have given 10 kgs, I have sold off 10 kgs. Now, I'll include rack in this and now I can see that I have balance quantity that is still in my stock is 9.8 rack. Wasn't that easy? Just a few clicks and I could manage different units of measurement and I won't have to take stress for it. There is no room for errors. Well, ERP Next surely eases your business. And if you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel because I'm going to come up with many more such features that would ease up your business and undo the mess.